Spatial awareness is crucial when it comes to instrument flying. You'll be cruising blind through the clouds very fast and while on approaches very low. So the margins of error are becoming much, much smaller. That being said, I want you to take everything that you know about feeling the airplane and forget about it. Just throw it away. I know that sounds counterintuitive, especially since you've worked so hard learning those stick and rudder skills, but now I want you to transition all of your trust into your instruments. As instrument pilots, we have to do this because our bodies can betray us, specifically our vestibular system. Now, I know this kind of sounds like a lesson you'd get in a pre-med class, but don't worry. This is just a brief overview of what applies to you. Here's why this is important. The vestibular system provides our bodies with a sense of balance and allows our bodies to compensate for rapid movements, both self-induced and externally generated. It looks like this, like an alien squid snail. You'll notice that it has three semicircular canals. Each one of those is related to an axis of movement. Basically our heads pitch, roll, and yaw. In simple terms, each canal has fluid and hairs. As our head moves, the fluid moves. The fluid moves over the hairs and messages are sent to our brain to tell it which way we're moving. So if I move my head like this, then the fluid moved, the hairs moved, and then told my brain that my head is now sideways. Even if I did this with my eyes closed, I would know that. So as the fluid settles, my brain now thinks that this is my new normal with my eyes closed. But when I open my eyes, then I can see that the horizon is sideways and that those visual signals are telling my brain that my head isn't where it's supposed to be. So without those visual signals, you can see how this can become a problem. And we have some names for these problems. The first of which is called the leans. This happens when banking too slowly to move the fluid around in your ear. So for example, you bank to the left, but slowly. Then you realize what you did, so you quickly bank right to correct it. But the abrupt motion makes your brain think that you're still in a roll to the right, even though now you're straight and level. So now you're going straight and level, but feel like you're banking to the right. If you're not trusting your instruments, you could correct left and feel like you're straight and level now, but you're in a perpetual left bank. The next is the Coriolis illusion. This one comes into play when you're in a constant rate turn, your body's acclimated to the turn, and everything's great. But then, let's say you drop something or look around abruptly. That quickly moves the fluid around in your inner ear. Now, even though you're established in the bank, you think you're pitched up or pitched down. So you correct and could potentially put yourself into an unusual attitude. So again, the Coriolis illusion is when you abruptly move your head while established in a maneuver. Then we have the somatographic illusion. This is caused by rapid acceleration or deceleration. A rapid acceleration makes the fluid in your inner ear slide to the back and gives the feeling of being in a nose up attitude. On the flip side, a rapid deceleration gives the feeling of being nose down. On an approach, this could cause real problems because you're already slow. And if you think you're pitched down, pulling up to correct can quickly put you into stall territory. The last one we'll talk about here is false horizon. With instrument flying, you'll oftentimes be flying through the clouds with zero visibility and then break out of the clouds from time to time. When that happens, we can get mixed messages from our brain. Let's say you've been in the clouds for 30 minutes and your body's in equilibrium. You're going straight and level and everything's right with the world. Then you break out of the clouds and see a lower cloud level, but it's not level, it's at an angle. And all of a sudden our brain is telling us that we are the ones at an angle. The tiebreaker between our brain and reality is always, always, always going to be our instruments. It's important to know all of these illusions so that you know what to look out for. But the biggest takeaway and the common denominator between all of them is trust your instruments. Remember that? and none of these illusions will ever put you in a position you don't want to be.